I'll give you a softball. Okay, so everybody knows about Kool-Aid's game on the field, but just talk about him and his character off the field. No, Kool-Aid's a respectful guy. You know, we respect him around the building. He's humble, hungry. Um, he's not a knucklehead. We love having Kool-Aid on the team, and he's been great for us, and we love him. How much do you guys talk about? I mean, obviously, this A&M game last year was huge for everything. How much are you talking about? How much are you thinking about it? What's that message? Um, you know, we try to approach the game. We try to approach each game the same. You know, no game is bigger than the other one. You know, Texas A&M is up next on the schedule, so now we will be talking about this game. But previous before that, we would talk about our other opponents. You know, Texas A&M has a really good uh, team, really good offensive line, good quarterback, and, you know, it's going to be a great challenge for us. Jamie? I have the best question of the day. How excited are you to see Jimbo Fisher? <laughs> All I do, I come here to play football and do what my coach tells me to do. Hey, Will. Uh, so they actually had to play two quarterbacks on Saturday because of an injury. Um, what are the challenges of preparing for two guys, whether it's because of injuries or just, you know, a two quarterback system, but just what are the challenges there? You know, I don't think it's a challenge at all. I think coaches are doing a great job. You know, that's for them to handle. Uh, Miro's been doing a good job. He stepped up big time for us in the game in Arkansas. Um, Bryce was there on the sideline, being a great leader that he is, helping Miro, helping the offense get going. So, you know, they're going to continue to do whatever they got going on on that side of the ball, but it's going to be good for us, whatever they do. Kool Aid stepped up for Brian Branch after went down with injury in the star position. Just talk about the versatility of the defense and how different guys are kind of filling different spots at an emergency time. Yeah, most definitely. I think that's what's so great about our defense. We have a lot of guys that can do a lot of great things, you know, play different positions. And I think that's one of the reasons why you come to Alabama, Coach Saban says it all the time, to add value to your game, to add versatility to your game. And, you know, when you come here, they're going to actually do uh, things that you're probably not comfortable with, but they know you can do it and they have all the trust and the um, confidence in you to do it. And you just you have to go out there and believe it in yourself. Earlier, Coach Saban talked about Justin Boyd being him dealing with a neck issue. Just as a leader, just what do you say to someone that's dealing with something significant like that? Um, you know, Justin's with Justin is a great player for us. He's been doing a really good job. Um, the guys in his room, they've been doing a really good job. DJ Dell, um, Byron Young have been helping those guys get going. So um, I don't think uh, it's going to be any problem for us. Justin was great. Uh, the young guys are still learning. They're still doing a good job. So, you know, we'll see how that goes. Hey, Will. So uh, no need to be said, but obviously in the off season, there was a lot of talk between your coach and Jimbo Fisher. Yeah. When you guys, the focus is on the field. I get that. But when you're playing and you can silence all that noise with your play, how can you describe that feeling when you uh, just let it all out there on the field? Yeah. You know, um, like I was saying, I come here to play football. You know, I don't come here to write tweets. I don't come here to go back and forth, you know, on the thing. And, you know, people may try to, you know, make it a big thing. But at the end of the day, I have a scholarship to play football. Coach Saban brought me here to play football. He brought us all here to play football. And that's our job to go out there and make sure that we've been our best versions of ourselves on the field and make sure that we're playing up to the Alabama standard. There's been a lot said about Jalen's speed, but how tough is he to tackle? And do you have a maybe a memory from maybe scout team when you were allowed to hit yeah. him more? Um, I don't have a memory, but he is very hard to tackle. He can move really well, has great feet. Um, he can escape the pocket. I just, but I think it's the, like the older you get and the more you go against him, like now you have to say you can't get pushed by the quarterback. So and when we all like go against him on scout or anything like that, we all know that we have to like play level. We can't get pushed by. We can't open up big seams and stuff like that. So, yeah. What did the fourth quarter against Arkansas on Saturday kind of say about the poising composure of this team on offense and defense that y'all were able to kind of bounce back after a rough third quarter? You know, um, I was telling the team, Henry was telling the team, all the older guys, we were telling the team, we've been in situations like this before. We know how to deal with these situations. All offseason, Coach Saban does a great job putting us in these types of situations. We have a fourth quarter program. And I think uh, one of his biggest measures is just win the fourth quarter. And I think that's what we do a really good job of trying to win the fourth quarter. Yeah. Jameer and the offense has had a bunch of like really, really long runs this season. One, has that ever happened to you guys when one's going against one's in practice? Oh, of course. You know, it's iron shop and iron. They're going to win some. We're going to win some. But of course, we've seen that. Yeah. And so like what kind of what about the scheme that doesn't really matter which opponent, but you guys are still kind of creating those holes. You see it every day. And what about the offensive blocking work so well? Um, Ask that again. I'm not yeah. Gonna... Ours? Well, I, I don't I'm not really sure what they have going on uh, offense. That's kind of coach for Coach Saban or Coach Bill. But, you know, I think they do a really good job up front protecting everybody and run blocking as well.
back, blue shirt. We've got one or two more here, man. Let's go. Um, a lot of you guys like to wear armbands. Um, are you wearing something under yours as well in the game, like a designed one? Uh, yeah, just a little tape. That's really it. Just a little design, yeah. Okay. Speech of a Mason. You've had a chance to compete against a lot of Alabama running backs during your career here, but they talked about Jameer gives his maturity as a runner. Just what do yeah. you see from him in practice? Not only just the, the natural talent, but just his IQ and his maturity. Yeah, he's very smart. Um, the way he can, you know, be patient and wait for uh, holes to be created and his initial burst, I think that's something like we watch on the Jumbotron all the time, like even at home game or away games, like we'll see him, he slows down and then he just bursts out of nowhere. I think that's one of the greatest gifts God has given him and it's been great and we love having him on our team. Thanks, man. Why? 